have been saying I'm going to start my YouTube channel for the longest and I'm finally starting it. Okay, so the biggest question I always get asked is, how did I pass my NCLEX after failing? Not once, not twice. Oh wait, two times. Okay, how did I pass it the third time? Third time's a charm. Before I get into this video, make sure you guys are following me on all my platforms. Sinesse, That Nursing, TikTok, Sinesse Official, everything else Sinesse Official. And make sure you guys skip yeah make, <laughs> make sure you guys subscribe to this video right now okay i'm gonna be dropping weekly or maybe every two weeks because i am in school but let's get into this video For those that don't know, my name is Sines. I'm an LPN and I'm in I'm currently in my RN Bridge program. I wanted to start this YouTube channel because it's hard for me to make real videos that are very descriptive. So I finally decided let me use my YouTube channel and actually give a long explanation to questions that a lot of people have. But first and foremost, I feel like the reason I failed my first time around was because I wasn't very confident in myself when i finished my lpm program it was kind of like i was just done like there was no review there was no like nclex class review like nothing like that they didn't even teach us how to sign up for the nclex honestly so i was kind of just done with school and figure it out on your own that's not a bad thing but i literally had to figure it out on my own so i enrolled in a course that was three months and i don't want to say the name of the course because this is not to bash them or anything but the course was not very helpful at all so i was in there for three months and um yeah they did go over certain things i don't know maybe it was because i wasn't you know i was just happy to be out of school honestly i was just i feel like i did learn a lot in school my bridge pro my my lpn program was amazing but i feel like after i came out of school i was just kind of living life you know what i mean like i was happy to be out of school that was my first mistake right there i should have went and took my nclex right away y'all like i'm not even like i that should have been my number one priority i was busy going to london i was busy going to columbia like and i was failing the nclex yup i was it was so hard because i really hit like i hit rock bottom i was so depressed i was so sad and i felt like nobody really understood um it it's hard explaining to people like yeah i'm a nurse but i don't work you know what i mean and it's like everybody knew i was in nursing school i feel like that is the most embarrassing thing like honestly and it's like now looking back on it i i honestly feel like that experience helped me now because i know when i'm done with my bridge program i know what not to do so the second time around i failed because i feel like i again i missed that confidence um the third time i finally enrolled into a webinar um it was called mo and i'm gonna put it on the screen right here this is the webinar i did it's a four-week course Okay guys, another thing I did was U World Questions and U World Questions was so good because it it like made I don't know how to explain it, but the simplest way I can put it is that U World questions were harder than the NCLEX. I'm not gonna sit here and say the questions from U World were word for word on the NCLEX, but it's like in the rationales you kind of under had a better understanding of a topic so as i had that i was writing my notes on the side and i literally did a hundred questions a day y'all like a hundred questions as i'm out i'm on my phone doing you world questions like a hundred <coughs> but 100 questions a day is like the minimum you should do honestly do 100 questions questions are the key to success and enough people don't talk about it but do enough questions you can never do too much questions okay and as you're doing it don't just do it and be guessing like read the rationales actually try to guess you know act like you're playing the game on your phone rather than scrolling on instagram i was substituting that with scrolling on you world if you know what i mean okay that was how I did that and while I'm reading the rationales and stuff like that yes I'm understanding it but I'm also writing notes and if you follow me on Instagram you keep up with my story you know that I write everything my notebook is literally like you know what I mean like I have everything written down detailed information and I read it all the time but again let's backtrack so the first two times I failed I want to tap into that a little more if you're watching this video and you ever failed the NCLEX I don't want you to give up I know like a lot of people DM me sometimes and they're like oh I failed three times I feel ten times like how can I bounce back y'all it starts with your mindset I'm telling you that's the first key to anything luckily for me I'm literally surrounded by nurses some of my closest friends are nurses or in nursing school my mom's a nurse my brother's a nurse. so it's like seeing them go to work every day and like seeing them like I drive I used my I used it to motivate myself do you know what I mean 
don't make excuses y'all that's the number one thing i can say do not make excuses like stop using that fear or that lack of confidence and stop using it and letting it hold you back because that is going to be your first mistake right there it does not matter how many times you take the nclex the nclex is not a who's smarter game it's not because some of the people that were getting 70s in school are the ones passing the nclex in 75 questions you know what i mean and this is absolutely no shade to them like go ahead like i'm gonna always cheer somebody along but this is to say that the NCLEX does not mean that you are not smart. You graduated nursing school. You are fully capable of taking the NCLEX. Anybody who could graduate nursing school is smart enough in my book, okay? Because nursing school is not easy at all, at all, y'all. So I would say that's the first step right there. So if you're looking for where can I start, where can I start, where can I start, start with that, okay? Be confident. No, do not sell yourself short that's what i'm basically trying to say look in the mirror okay before you even decide to sign up for your nclex again and roll in a webinar or anything else you may do look in the mirror and tell yourself i can do this i am i graduated nursing school i am fully capable of passing the nclex okay that's the first step right there okay now we're moving on to step two okay now we're gonna find programs webinars um nclex review classes that's the next step okay hey guys and then we're gonna go tell ourselves in the mirror again okay i don't care how many times we have to say it i can do this i got through nursing school i am fully capable tell yourself this over and over and over because the one thing that i truly feel was wrong in the first like why i feel the first two times I, I, there was a list of things, but the first and most important one is the lack of confidence in myself. If I could go back in time, the one thing I would definitely tell myself is just take your NCLEX, okay? Like, what are you holding off for? Like, you're fully capable, you know more than you think, and that's why even before exams, I still tell myself this. You know more than you think you know, okay? And the night of the NCLEX, the day before my NCLEX, I realized that the, the time I passed, I realized that I did not touch my book at all. I said the day before, but I meant the day of. I did not touch my book whatsoever. I was listening to music in the shower. I got to the site early. I was sitting down. And when they offered the breaks, like on the screen, when they say like um, break time or something like that, I took my breaks, okay? And in my breaks, I said, okay, you've gotten halfway through the exam. You're doing something right. Like, you know what I mean? Like, t get a snack. Get a, br a breath of fresh air. Drink some water. The first two times I failed, I realized like the day of the end cards, I was trying to cramp in things that I I feel like I didn't study properly like I that was a mistake right there too even before exams now I don't study 30 minutes before the exam like if I have to study like 10 minutes to the exam or like even like the minute before the exam starts I know that I did not study as much as I could have so y'all you just have to know yourself know your study techniques things like that um the webinar for sure helped me i know i think a lot of people say like oh it's not live or anything like that i don't know the specifics of it but i just know that in the webinar really what i got was confidence everything i'm telling you right now like i got that you know what i mean like the confidence to just know that you're capable of a lot more than you think you are and yeah that brings me to the end y'all um you know i don't know what i should title this video honestly Sinesse two-step and clicks i don't know but y'all get the point of the video i'm gonna start posting weekly or bi-weekly whatever the case is um make sure you guys are following me on all my social media platforms and if you guys have any other videos or any other topics you would like me to discuss either dm me or comment it on this video and if this video is helpful to you please comment that as well if you've ever used you world or did the webinar that i mentioned in the video comment that as well comment your thoughts you know your opinions anything any questions comments and concern and if you want to have an in-depth conversation um you could book me on my my website is in my link uh ask nurse and s uh one-to-one -one phone call we could dive into anything that you want to talk about yeah that brings me to the end of the video i hope you guys like this video comment like subscribe share and i'll be back with more bye